Yo, what's going on guys? Colton Wish back at it with another video. In this video, I want to talk about the impending Steam Winter Sale that's coming up. If you guys don't know, Steam's Winter Sale starts on December 22nd this year. That was pretty much leaked by PayPal. Pretty hilarious leak, but whatever. Most of us already assumed that it was either going to be the 22nd or it was going to be December 17th. And obviously we're past December 17th, so the 22nd seems like the only date since obviously the sale's going to start before Christmas rolls around. But the sale's going to run through Christmas, so say if you're getting Steam Wallet codes for Christmas, don't worry, you'll be able to buy whatever's on sale. And if you guys don't know, they actually did this with a Thanksgiving slash fall sale earlier. What Steam used to do is that they would have a myriad of daily deals and flash deals. The daily deals would last for 48 hours. And then the flash deals would last around 6 to 12 hours. I thought that made the Steam sales a lot more fun to participate in. I thought that it added an element of spontaneity. And I just thought it was fun. Hey, it's 1am, let's go check what the Steam flash sales are. Oh my god, it's 1pm, let's go check what the new daily deals are. And if a game was just about to go off a flash sale, you would kind of be pressured into buying the game since you're like, oh my god, I might miss this deal. And I just thought that added a little bit of fun to the Steam sales. Unfortunately, they're doing away with that and they're just going to have a sale for each game and that sale is going to run the duration of the entire winter sale. That's probably the better way to do it. But to be honest, I like the spontaneity and having flash and daily deals. I thought that created more discussions. I remember I was always on forums and Reddit when the Steam sales were going on and every day at 1 p.m. I would hop on the forum, see what people are picking up see what's good, see what's bad. And that was always a fun thing to do, but I noticed with the Thanksgiving sale, everything just went on sale the first day, and I was like, eh, it's not really fun anymore. They're really not interacting with the audience anymore. And honestly, that's not a big deal. Maybe I'm just romanticizing the fact of daily deals and flash deals. Let's be honest, it's not a big deal, but it was a cool thing that Steam did. And I know a lot of people did actually hate it. They're just like, why don't you just put the games on sale forever? But I don't know. I like the randomness of having flash deals and daily deals and all that kind of stuff. And that brings me to my second point. Over the last year or so, these Steam sales have just become more and more mundane. I remember a few years ago, when a Steam sale was coming around, every PC gamer would get excited. They'd be like, oh my god, my wallet's about to be raped. If you guys remember a few years ago, there was that hilarious Attack on Titan parody called Attack on Gaben, poking fun at the Steam summer sale, and I just thought that was hilarious. And that video was actually how I found out about Attack on Titan, which is one of my favorite shows ever now. But I won't get into that anymore. But it just seems like nowadays, Steam sales, nobody really cares. And a big reason for that is because you have things like G2A, Green Man Gaming, and it's great that you can get deals year round, but like some of you guys that have been PC gaming for a while vouch for me on this. I always thought the Steam sales were fun, and now they're just like, whatever. I think Valve has definitely lost an edge, and it's like, what are you gonna do? G2A has these ridiculous prices, it's almost impossible for Valve to compete with them, so what can you do? How do you engage the audience more with these sales? You really can't if you can't offer lower prices than what's available on sites like G2A. And that's great, people are getting games for really cheap. But I don't know, there was a time where the Steam sale would come around and every PC gamer would be like, yes, it's the fucking Steam sale! And like, it was a time to get excited. It was two times a year, the Steam Summer Sale and the Steam Winter Sale, every PC gamer was like, oh my god, I'm gonna buy so many games. And don't get me wrong, there's still opportunities to pick up great games for great deals on the Steam Sale. But the majority of that is like older games. Like if you want a game like Spec Ops The Line and it's $5, that's a great pickup. But really, how much are they going to discount a game like Metal Gear Solid 5, which is a game that you can pick up for a discounted price? Same thing with a game like Mad Max. How much are they really going to discount that game? Since you've got sites like G2A, Green Man Gaming, and all these other kinds of sites, they were already offering these great deals on these games before the games even came out, so how the hell is Steam supposed to compete with these sites? It's really impossible, and it's taken something out of the Steam sale, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, like, why am I complaining about getting games for cheaper prices? And I think for a lot of new PC gamers, they don't really see what's great about the Steam sales. They'll just be like, a lot of these deals are just available everywhere else and it's year-round. But year-round, I'm usually shopping on other places because other places just have better deals. The prices are absolutely bonkers and you really can't compete with them. So really now, the best deals that you're gonna get are deals on older games or indie games. But I digress. Alright, that's gonna wrap up the rambling from me. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.